let's get back to the beginning. How did you start this? What, what were some of the first contacts you made, and when did you decide that you wanted to source footage from people who had been documenting this in their own way on their cell phones and whatever for years? Uh, finishing Vinci on Fire, I was in the European Union. I was in Europe. And all the newspapers in 2015 were literally screaming by headlines, all these Islamic people coming to take over our world. All oh, they're coming from Syria and they want to take our cities. And you know what? It was completely different. It was completely different what I saw in reality. First of all, being in European Union, I learned that only small amount are really coming from Syria. In the European Union, it was reaching by this time, 2015, 2016, I think 2015 was around 27%. Right now, it's around 30% Syrian people in reality reaching European Union. Meaning the rest among the refugees that were going to Europe? Among the all refugee amount that is in European Union. Mm -hmm. Because Syrians are a kind of staying in Jordan, Turkey, Lebanon, because it's close to their borders. Yeah. Because they all want to go back home. So in the European Union, you have all the others. You have Afghans, you have uh, Iraqis, you have a lot of people from Africa. And only small amount is Syrians. But still, everybody were framed as Syrians. So this put it me in a position to talk to them and learn why all this kind of mystery around Syrian people. And I learned it's a war. That the choice for Syrians, and you just saw it, is very limited to stay alive at home. One is to die in the Assad's prisons from the torture, die from chemical weapon, die from ISIS, or die from Russian shelling. And they're trying to survive. Mm -hmm. And that's how I realized that in order to tell the story of the refugees, and I wanted to tell this story, I need to reconstruct the history and tell exactly how it started. You know, when you come into doctor, doctor can't just give you a pill against the symptoms. He need to treat the cause. So I wanted to learn about the cause of this refugee crisis, something that was bigger than the crisis from second uh, since we had second since Second World War. So that's why I went to the borders. I went to the Lebanon, to Hezbollah territory, to Bekavali. I went to all the other fascinating places. And I started to learn. I started to look for them. I started to look for the stories, for the characters. And this is how I initially be reached activists. I started to explain them what I want to do. I always was bringing as the sample Vinch on Fire that I did. And slowly, slowly, I found people who trusted me. Again, the issue of the trust was kind of really hard from the beginning. Because for Syrian people, they thinking that we abandoned them. I'm telling you that because everybody remember the red line that our ex-president did, former president did. And you know what? Since that moment, in their minds, they were feeling that we abandoned them. Since 2013, nothing happened for them. And more and more and more bad, bad, bad situations happened. So for them, we as humanity abandoned them. And I explained, no, we just have a lack of knowledge about you. We as civilians, we as the people. I'm not talking about the governments. I'm talking about the people. And my idea was to take their story. And slowly, slowly, more and more people started to bring me footage. More and more people started to tell their story, sharing, introducing me. And like this, through two years, I reached more than 100 interviews. I found all fascinating characters and icons of the revolution. I met a lot of interesting kids on my journey everywhere. And this is how I started to make a movie. And this is how I assembled this journey and gained almost 20 terabytes of footage. 20 terabytes of footage. Yeah.